Greetings all. I'm not sure if we mentioned in our last few videos, but we are heading north along I-75. If you want to see the campgrounds we have visited along our path, please view our previous videos. We are working our way to the top of Michigan before we have to head to warmer weather for the winter months. We left Florida in mid-June as full-time RVers. As you can see from the video, sorry for the glare, we are in the mountains in northern Tennessee. The road to the campground was narrow, steep, and had lots of sharp turns. Our destination is Bandy Creek Campground, which is located in the Big South Fork Recreation Area located in Oneida, Tennessee. This is part of the National Park Service. It is the first week in August and about 10 degrees cooler than Florida. The campground was very nice. Our camp host was very helpful and explained to us that the campground is crowded in the early part of the summer. The campsites were a good size with an asphalt pad that was fairly level. We did have to use a few leveling blocks on the back of the rig. We had electric and water hookups. There were signs for bears, but we did not see any, and lockers for tent campers to store their food. We did have one problem with the water faucet. It was a strange design and broken. We accommodated by tying a rope around the handle so that it would stay on. Toward the end of our stay, we reported this to the rangers. Shortly after we did this, we got a notification from Recreation.gov that the park was closing for repairs and that we needed to evacuate our site. This was a bit alarming. I went over and asked the neighbors if they'd gotten any notification because we did not see anyone packing up to leave. They had not received anything, so I went to the visitor center to check. It turns out the notification was a mistake and only our site was effective due to the repairs needed on the water faucet. They allowed us to stay the weekend and also refunded us for the three nights. The first trail we hiked was part of the John Litton Loop Trail. This trail started near Loop A in our campground. We loved it. It had lots of twists and turns and was surrounded by a thick forest. There was a waterfall, large, lots of large rocks, and a soothing creek. So we're walking through these rocks right now. It feels like it's raining on us, but it's not. It's the rocks. The water's coming down off the rocks. Got to be really careful through here. Nice little waterfall there. Yeah, hi Joe. Keep going. Get you all the way through. You can see there's this little bridge. Joe's walking over it here. Kind of have to duck down to get over it. He's going to wait for me on the other end. So there are two sets of these stairs that you have to come down and actually have to go back up on this trail. So you'd want to be aware of that to make sure you can do it. Now my turn. We saw some interesting mushrooms that were different colors. Some are orange, yellow, and purple. There were also nice blooming flowers along the trail. We enjoyed watching this bright orange lizard working his way along the path also. So where are we? At the East Rim Overlook in... Anita, Tennessee? No, what's the name of the recreation oh, area? Big Fork Recreation Center area. Yeah. And how come that water's not crystal clear? I don't know. It looks a little That's muddy. the way it is up here. Really clear day today. We have a couple more days in this park. We've enjoyed it. It's been really nice. The weather got down to about 64 in the evenings, I believe. We drove a few miles from our campsite and visited a swimming area on the South Fork Cumberland River. There was a lot of damage in this area from when the river flooded back in February 2020. We hiked along the river on the Leatherwood Ford Trail and it was beautiful even though it had been flooded just a few months past. People were swimming and kayaking down the river. A little bit of rapids. Is Rhonda trying to pick her way through the rocks? Carefully? Slowly? I don't know where we are. I don't know the name of this river. Okay. 
Next, we drove to the beautiful Yahoo Falls Trail, located about 30 minutes from our campground near Whitley City, Kentucky. So Joe's heading down the stairs right now toward the falls, Yahoo Falls. Um, yeah, looks pretty intense. Glenn Newman's, we are missing you today. The fall is 113 feet high. There's a large rock shelter behind the falls and many beautiful rocks along the trail. You can see this massive rock here. Just beautiful. The little trail going around. Joe's walking underneath it. It gives you a sense of how big it is. There's the fall. Here we are. This is Yahoo Falls in Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky. Apparently it's pretty dry. As part of this day, we hiked to the Yahoo Arch, which is another mile down the trail. It was also impressive, and we loved climbing up to the top and looking around. We also added rocks to some of the rock sculptures. To conclude, we wanted to share that our leaking water issue turned out to be an electrical issue also. We had several power surges the last two evenings and it continually got worse. We decided to turn off our electricity for the last night. We had plenty of power because of our solar system, but could not run the AC. Luckily, it was a bit cooler so we were able to sleep comfortably. In spite of our few issues, we still consider Bandy Creek Campground to be a great place to visit. The Big South Fork Recreation Area hiking trails were great, and we would love to return to this park. I would love to see it in the fall when the leaves change colors. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new to our channel.